YouTube, what's going on? Have I got a super duper exciting how to pitch with video for you all today. On Sunday, MLB The Show and SDS dropped a huge bomb that they were going to give us draft pick cards and 99 Paul Skeens might be, probably is, a top three to five pitcher in this game. He is nuts. Welcome everybody back to KDJ TV. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. Like and subscribe before you go. In this how to pitch with series, every single Thursday, I teach you how to pitch with the best cards in the game. I teach you how to tunnel, I teach you the best pitching sequences, I teach you all you gotta know about specific pitchers. You're gonna see every single pitch I throw in the upcoming ranked game, which I hope is not a rage quit because there's no other place to use Paul Skeens at this moment. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'll show you every pitch we throw, you won't see a single swing. This is all about pitching, this is all about you getting better on the bump. Let's go check out Mr. Skeens, he's nasty. First glance, this card art is crazy, and this mustachioed man, I think, has basically every pitch you need to be successful. You, of course, would like a sinker on the card. You could argue that you could get rid of the slider or slurve and instead have a sinker, but that's not what this card has. He has an outlier fastball with a circle change that checks in 11 miles an hour slower. That's a great differential. The slider and cutter have a good difference between them, and the cutter is so much slower than the fastball, it's going to be really tough to hit. You're going to get a lot of weak contact, and that is the goal. An underrated tunnel slash sequence slash combination here, even though it seems weird to have three pitches that essentially move the same direction, slider, cutter, slurve, I'm going to try that tunnel out. I think, I think it's going to be effective because, again, the goal for me when I pitch is weak contact. I, of course, love strikeouts, but sometimes if you pitch to strikeouts, you get bitten by home runs. I'm trying to get my opponents to extend the zone, swing a little bit off the plate, and get some weak grounders. That's hopefully what Skeens can do. And then looking at his attributes, we don't have to dwell on it here. He's got great attributes. 111 hit per nine, 99 velo, 99 break. His control and BB per nine are very good. His pitching clutch is excellent. His K per nine is great. Stamina 102. I don't think stamina really means lickety shit this year. He'll probably go six, seven innings. If he's cruising, he'll go more. Who knows? But let's go put Paul on a game. And let's go win. Also important to know, I am 60 and 20. This is my first game of the new season. I am rated 700. This will be Hall of Fame. Skeens, I think is going to be good across the board. But just so you guys know, Hall of Fame is where we're using them right now. I am the home team. We're facing a fella named the New York Kings. He's got a good lineup. But we've got Paul Skeens. So we're going to go mow him down with this electric stuff that this guy has. This guy is a future ace. He's insane. Good for the Pirates for getting him. First pitch, home run! We're facing a good player, evidently. Let's move on. I liked starting off with the slurve there. Thought it would be effective. Whoopsie poopsie. All right, so let's go to the force. And we're down one nothing already. Skeens is going to be great, don't worry. All right, 0-1. We're going to use the fastball. Why I started with a slurve, I don't know. Let's elevate now. Uh, he's This guy can hit. I don't care for it. He had a good record, 47-10. and 10. So we're going to have to be smart. We're going to have to be safe. Let's put the cutter inside. Let's see what Hank Aaron's got for this. Okay, he didn't bite on it. Good take. Slider now out of the zone. Let's get it out. Good spot. A little, clipped the zone a little too much, but it is what it is. No big deal. It's one and one. We haven't tested him low. And he's got a little change up here. So if he's sitting fastball, he'll be very early on this. Got to be a little more competitive. Not a big deal. At 2-1, and one, it's time to give him the four-seamer. I want it actually a little bit low here on Hank Aaron. Missed his spot. That was on me on the pinpoint. Not great. All right, we're going to go to the circle change on 3-1. and one, See what we got. Count is full. Excellent pitch. Back to the slurve, but inside this time, and we're going to pray. Missed my spot entirely. Not a good pitch. Hey, listen, Paul Skeens is not doing great so far. We're going to get better. We're going to be fine. Let's get a cutter inside. Way early on that. He's sitting heavily for seam. So I'm going to go back to the cutter. Okay. At one and one, we've gone twice inside. We're going to go away now with the four seamer. Very late. Maybe a back foot slider for the homies. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what happened with that pinpoint because it felt... Odd. Not a big deal. It is. We're starting to we're starting to approach uh-oh territory against this guy. Knock him out. Nice. Not really. It hung, but change of speeds. It was good. Nice strikeout. We have two outs. 
He's hitting 343 with Chipper. I don't like facing good opponents. Cut her outside. There we go. He was way early on that. I think this guy's just going to sit hard and adjust to Slurve. So we have to be careful. All right. We got out of it. We only let up one run. We threw a handful of pitches. Hard contact a couple times. Soriano. I've never seen Soriano turn on a ball that quickly, let alone a first pitch Slurve. But we're down one. We'll figure it out. All right, one, two, three in the first. We made Roy Halladay work a little bit. I took some decent swings. I'm not too upset at the outcome. We're going to get there. But right now, we need to recover with Paul Skeens. This video is all about him. I'm starting with a cutter outside. Okay, he waited back on that. Good information. It's actually very late on it. So we're going to piggyback it with a four-seamer. Outside the zone. If we were inside the zone, that's a perfectly executed pitch. I'm going to go four-seam now, low and in. That ended up being a little higher than I wanted, but still, late on it, right? Good, very late, good pitch. Let's see if we can extend. Wipe him out. There he is, that's gotta be a swing, Blue. Blue, Blue, my friend. Uh, we gotta wipe him out on that, that's upsetting. Circle change away. Great pitch, uh, kind of. Great pitch call, it missed its spot, and he had a shitty swing. But, we're moving now, uh, things are happening. Maybe that first pitch to Soriano was a fluke. No, it's not. He's hitting the piss out of the ball. Okay, we're going to be careful. He was early on that. He's going to be early on this. Read the pitch feedback. He actually waited back on that very well. But always read the pitching feedback. You should be able to tell just visually, right, if you're late, early, whatever on a swing. But always look, confirm, and then choose your next pitch based off that. You don't just want to go into that bat like pre-sequencing in your head. Adjust as needed. Carlos Correa is going to get a four-seamer inside. He's going to be early, and it's going to be foul. His timings are all over the place. So if he's early on that, he's going to be early on this. That's a fair ball. He was early on it. Uh, I think my opponent is guessing. Which is fine. Some people guess. I just get the vibe that he's guessing pitches here. That was an excellent contact. It was actually terrible contact. And here we are with a runner on first and two outs. Circle change, low. Or wherever that wants to go. Strike one. Love that. Slurve, I need it outside, Paul. That's a fine, fine miss. Because now we tunnel the four-seamer with the slurve. Outside. I think he was guessing because his timing was pretty good, but he was under it. We didn't give him a jammer. We got out of the inning. No harm done. He's making decent contact. He's seeing Paul Skeens very well, but I very much enjoy pitching with Skeens so far. Just got a little unlucky. So let's go hit. We'll be right back. All right, we got a two-out, two-run double by Michael Brantley. We now have the lead, and here comes Soriano. So, our nemesis here is not getting a first-pitch slurve. He's probably not getting a slurve at all. I am going to try to keep it away from him, though, with a cutter. And we'll adjust as needed. Got him. Strike one. Love that. Let's go back to that location with a little more speed. Strike two. Okay. Love it. Now he's like, what's coming? How about a fastball right up and in? Bye. Bye. Paul Skeens is good. We got to mix the fastball in more. I think that's where I've gone wrong a little bit with some of the contact I've allowed. I've shied away from the four-seamer because I think good hitters will just sit on it and hit it. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe we mix it in more. We've got him super early on a cutter. How about super early on a slider? Good spit. That's a good take. That was not a super competitive pitch. I want to go four-seamer right here. Maybe we get a little called strike two. Oh boy, he was way early on that. He's looking for that location. I guess we go circle change outside, right? Kind of leaked back over the plate a considerable amount. All right, slurve in the dirt. Bounce it, maybe? Ah, not incredibly competitive. At two and two, he's seen the arsenal here. So I want to go cutter. I want it inside. I want him to swing at something off the plate. Great pitch. Perfectly executed. Once your opponent has seen everything, you just got to give him different locations of the pitches he's seen. So now we've got two outs. This is a much better inning for Mr. Skeens. Front door slurvy poo for a called strike one. Or a hammered foul ball strike one. Okay. Let's change eye levels on a higher slider here. Oh and 2 We're in good shape. I can see him hitting this pitch out, but I like the four-seamer up and away here. Okay, late on it. That's good Good information. What does he get now? What does he get now? Circle change. Here we go. Give me the strike three. All right, we ground ball to third. We love that. Haven't gotten a lot of ground balls this game, 
but we pitched very well that inning. And we have an iota of momentum. Let's go keep it up. I just did what you should never do after a 1-2-3 inning. Three pitches, three outs. I did a very stupid thing. I was very aggressive at the plate. I got pitches to hit, and I just missed them. So slurve to start. He's early. We love it. It's 0-1. Uh, we need to hit better. That was a very disappointing inning. I did feel like I just missed some things, though. All my timings were good, so it's just a PCI problem. 0-2, we've got him guessing at who the hell knows what's coming. But the thing is, he's swinging. So the, a lot of those pitches you try to get for a called strike three, the four-seamer low and in, maybe a cutter on the back end of the plate, he's swinging at it. So that means we got to go above the zone. I feel like he wanted to swing at that, but that was a great take. Back foot me, baby. Come on. Wipe him out. Got him! Mr. Skeens! We might be finding a groove now. This is my first ever online game with him. I pitched four innings against the CPU with him just to get a feel for his delivery. Change up the start. Sammy, I need you to catch this, bud. There we go. Nice early contact and a one pitch out. We haven't had many of those. Dylan Cruz. I got a hit with him in my first at bat. My first ever hit with Dylan Cruz. Let's go slider away. Ooh, he did not like that pitch location. His timing was good, but he did not get there. Four seam in. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go right back to it and probably get burned. But I like it, and we're going to do it. Got him! Paul Skeens is here! He's him! Let's go hit. All right, another one, two, three inning. This guy is throwing so many strikes with Roy Halladay. All strikes. My PCIs are just barely missing because Halladay gets very good movement on his pitches. But the timing's been good. We're going to get there. Still up two to one. Let's get a first pitch strike here with Skeens. We got it. We got it. Now we got to keep fighting. He's paused. Why? I don't know. He's paused. Michael Harris hitting 222 with one RBI and two hits. Maybe he doesn't want Harris. There you go. Dr. Smooth. He hit the two-run double for me. So he's a knower. Circle change away, though, for Dr. Smooth. That's the first pitch he's taken in a while that was that competitive. Slider, a little back dory. Good pitch, way out in front. Lazy fly ball to Samuel Sosa. If he locks in, please lock. Thank you. One away. Skeens is Skeens got to cruise it now. Listen, I I think I had to get used to him early. I'm a big fan of what he offers, and I think he's going to be effective for you. I think he's worth the eighty-two thousand stubs right now. But he actually his price might be cheaper when you guys are watching this because of the free draft pack that was in Wednesday's All Star program. I bought him the night he came out at, like, 90k. Uh, I think he's great. I think he's going to be excellent. So, as you see here, we're 2-1. and one. We've been working Correa away. I'm going to stay away with one more pitch before coming back inside. What a dot that was. Oh, my God. 2-2. Two and two. I don't want to give him a jammer. I'm going to put it a little below. Got him! Let's go, baby! 7Ks for Paul Skeens through 4 and 2 thirds. Let's go back to the slurve first pitch away. It's going to bite me again, probably. Oh, that was a bad spot to put it in. I wanted it more outside. He's probably upset. He should have hit that. Four-seamer now in the same spot. Lazy fly balls, baby. We are through five. Skeens is cruising, but the game is still very close. It's one swing away from being tied. I need to go add to this lead immediately. Homies, we just dropped a five spot. My opponent made a very large error by putting in the human batting practice machine, John Franco. So it's 7-1. We've got a little breathing room. It makes me feel good for Mr. Skeens. Come on, Paul. Cut her away. Right down the plate. It's all right. It's 0-1. We're at 60 pitches right now. We're, we're looking pretty good. Fastball away. He crushed it. Maybe it's off the wall, though, because I don't think it has the height. It does. Okay. Well, it does not, I should say. Runner on second to start. That was a perfect perfect. Not good. That's our first little bit of adversity we've had in a while, though. Now it's time to work through it. Um, Soriano, apparently, he's great with. Slider in. Bad pinpoint. But we got a swing. Hmm. I have not thrown him a circle change inside yet. Let's see how it goes. He timed it pretty well. He was just a little under it. Uh, slider, back foot. Wipe me out. Oh, what a friggin' take that was. Um, I guess Cutter and... I'm afraid to throw Schwarber a four-seamer, if I'm being honest. There we go. Yeah, he hasn't hit that with Schwarber. That's eight strikeouts now for Skeens through five and a third. I'm petrified of throwing Schwarber a four-seamer. Ah, he's gonna get a run back. All right, two good swings. I'll give him credit there. It's seven to two. Skeens is still cruising. Not upset. Uh, just two good swings he put on it. We're gonna recover. We're gonna get through six innings, maybe seven with Skeens. Four-seamer to start Shohei. Very late. Ooh, baby. Circle change. 
Double play, maybe? Come on. Strong throw, Ellie. Uh, all right. Hey, we got a rollover. That's a double play if Shohei's not running. Anybody else? Double play. With two outs now, we want more weak contact. He is not seeing that cutter well inside. To lefties, that's been the best pitch. Can Sammy make that catch? No, I tried. Oh, and one. Maybe we tunnel this. Does he take it? He hasn't really taken a lot of those. Now he's swinging. This man is up here swinging the bat. That makes it tough. When you have opponents who swing a lot, there's going to be some, some traffic on the bases. Because they're going to luck their way into one at some point. Let's get a rollover on the changeup. Oh, what? That... Moving on. Bad pitch. Slider at the wiener. Nope, he took it. At three and two, I am perplexed. I'm going to go cutter. Keep it in the zone. Maybe it's a call. Way early. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Hey, he's making us work this at bat. I kind of like it. Circle change. Dot it. Let's go on a pitch. We escape up seven to two. I told you. He was only a swing away from tying it before. It was huge that we scored five. Maybe a little bit more wiggle room here. Skeens will be great. Well, now it's 10 to two. Things are happening. Ezekiel Duran has come off the bench, by the way, to go two for two with a two-run homer, a perfect perfect, and a two RBI single. So he's been great. But who cares about the hitting? Let's pitch. Paul Skeens, fastball away to start. Oh, okay, he's hitting. He's sitting on that. Can we get him at second, Sammy? I think we might. Good throw! All right, another leadoff double to work around. He might be starting to see Skeens. Just to be safe, because we don't want this to get out of hand. My opponent is a World Series player. We're going to get some guys up. We're going to get the Missile, Aroldis Chapman, and Blake Trinan. But we're going to get out of this with no run scored. I feel it. Circle change away. Great pitch. That's fine. That's a good pitch to miss. We tunnel it with the cutter. It looks away, but it comes back. Very early, just like I wanted. Would have preferred a called strike, but that's fine. Circle change low and in now. Sat back on it, so that's good information. I've started to throw that a few more times now, but we're going to wipe him out with this cutter. Ooh, good take. All right. Okay, change the eye level maybe. That's a nice early ground out. He's going to have that runner to third now. Really, we could just pitch the contact and pitch the outs. If the run scores, it's not a big deal, but I'd like to challenge myself and not let him score. Four-seamer right here on the fists. And it scored right away. All right, now he's starting to sit first pitch four-seamer because he's swinging at it and hitting it. This will be Skeens' last inning. I think he's been great. My opponent's good, but Skeens has been pretty damn good as well. So let's just get out of this. Maybe a double play. That was almost a double play. Strike one. Cut her away. Let it hit the ground, Ellie. Oh, Ellie, that was a double play, my friend. I wish there was a bat the ball down button. That's okay. Two outs. And now my nemesis, Soriano. Good take. Cutter. Took it. Strike two. Strike one, rather. Sorry, second pitch of the at-bat. Inside. Oh, God. What was the pinpoint on that, chat? What do we do here? Slurve? You know what? Sweet revenge. You hit the slurve out. Here's the slurve for a strikeout now. Oh, that was a actually very competitive pitch. Got him? Bad throw. Why was he running there? Why are you stealing down 10-3? Slider away. I was very caught off guard by that, guys. Sorry, that was weird. Full count. What does he get? He's getting a cutter up and in this time. Got him! That was a great inning. Paul Skeens was excellent. We'll talk about him at the end of this video. Now you're going to get to see an inning or two of relievers. here joe mauer walks it off on a rage quit let's go talk about paul all right so the box score is gone for some reason but as you can see on the left seven innings from paul Skeens. the win 10 k's he was excellent what did we learn from using paul Skeens? here's what we learned from using paul Skeens. maybe first pitch fastballs aren't a good idea all the time because my opponent hit those very well the slurve while an effective swing and miss pitch if you leave it in the zone it's bangable and against opponents like I just played, even though I beat him 11-3, I beat him pretty handily, he swung, and he hit the ball well. So you can't leave really easy to hit slurves in the zone. It's that simple. That's a good strikeout pitch. That's a good off-balance pitch. I shouldn't have used it the way I did in that first pitch of that bat. I thought it would be fun. Oh, well, I was wrong. But either way, Skeens is a beaut. Skeens is staying in my rotation. I think he's disgusting, and I think you should go get him. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Let me know what you think about Paul Skeens. I'll see you next time.